But you know, it has never been easier in the 24, they call it the 24 hour news cycle. It's not a 24 hour news cycle. It is a 60 second news cycle now. Uh, it's instantaneous. It has never been easier for people in public life, not just politicians, but journalists and business leaders and the pundits and so forth. It has never been easier to get away with telling lies. It has never been easier to get away with the glib one-liner. And I say to you that people, whether they are broadcasters or politicians or writers, who think that they are respecting Struggle Street, the battlers, whatever epithet they want to use, by dumbing things down into one-line sound bites, are not respecting them. They are treating them with contempt. Not only can we say that that which doesn't kill me makes me stronger, we have to say that every knock, every reverse, every failure is not a defeat, is not a setback, but is something from which we learn and which enables us to do better. And that requires ensuring from a governmental point of view, governments which make our economy more free, which make our economy more flexible, which make it easier to start businesses, which make it easier for businesses which are unsuccessful to fail so that others can take their place. It is that element of dynamism and growth that is so fundamental to our future. You know, a lot of people think that Australia will be able to survive on its great mineral resources. Let me tell you, they're kidding themselves. Does, how many people here believe that the world will still be burning as much coal in 50 years' time as it is today? I can tell you I don't, and God help us if we are. Uh, of this country is its greatest strength. And that, and you see that, you can see that here, you can see that anywhere in Australia, but it is empowering the Australian people, it's giving Australian people the freedom to develop the businesses, the ideas, the technologies, the innovations that will create the jobs, the high paid jobs in a developed society with a generous social welfare net. That is what we need to ensure for the future. And that is our big economic challenge. And of course, to do so in a way that respects our obligation to play an important, constructive, meaningful part in ensuring that this planet, the only planet we've got, barring some space trek, uh, is managed and inhabited in a sustainable fashion.